Uganda has had 10 Inspector General of Police since independence, some memorable, others forgettable. New Vision TV looks at the men, no women so far, who have held that very important office since independence. The first African Inspector General of Uganda Police Force was Erinayo Wilson Oriema, who took office in 1964. The departing colonialists had identified Oriema several years before independence and started preparing him for the role. Oriema played the role of expanding the police and recruiting highly educated cadet officers into the force. He performed it well until the military coup of 1971 when President Idi Amin removed him and made him a minister and later killed him in 1977. Benjamin Othieno became Inspector General in 1971 until 1973. He had the challenge of preserving the integrity and duty of the police as the military jit busy sapping the mandate of the police in dealing with public issues. After Benjamin Othieno came a man who holds a special record, Mr. Luke Ofuji. He served as Inspector General for three times. Ofuji first became IGP in 1973 until 19. 1974. He again became IGP early 1980 until late 1980. He served again from 1986 until 1989. He also served under Idi Amin, then under Paolo Mwanga and also under Yoram Museveni. In between, there were several IGPs, including one whom Ugandans would rather forget, Kasim Obura, who held the office in the mid-70s. Obura showed that a man was already handcuffed, and after the Amin government fell, he was charged with murder, sentenced, and hanged in Luzira. From 1977 until 1979, the force was under Gabriel Odria until the fall of Amin. After the fall of Idi Amin, the first Inspector General of Police was David Burrell, whose rather light skin fascinated Ugandans, many of whom thought was an expatriate. Burrell was among the first group of Ugandan graduates to join the police as cadet officers at Independence. He served under the short-lived government of President Yusuf Lule and later under Godfrey Binaisa. He had the challenge of maintaining order when Tanzanian military and the annual Ugandan army were more active in the maintenance of public order. After the disputed December 1980 elections, Mr. Okoth Ogola was police chief during the most challenging time when police stations were target of revolutionary rebels who needed to seize weapons. The Anruli army was also meddling intensely in public affairs. In 1986, the seasoned professional look of Fuji was back at the helm of police and remained until 1990. The police had been reduced to a skeleton force and this was the time many highly educated officers today in the high management ranks of the police were recruited. Then Mr. David Somgen took the office for a while in 1990. He was succeeded by Mr. Apollo Biokwaso who headed the force until 1992. It was during Biokwaso's time that police had to handle the first political unrest in Kampala as the Democratic Party activists kept trying to organize protests. Ironically when the internal affairs minister in charge of police was DP President General Dr. Semugiriri. In 1992, one of the longest serving IGPs, John Kosi Odomel, took office. Odomel headed the force until 1999. He presided over the growing force as the army retreated to the barracks. In 1999, John Chisembo took office as IGP. He lasted in office until 2001. While Chisembo was in office, then Justice Julia Sebutinde under her Judicial Commission of Inquiry probed the police force, identifying many of the problems that bedeviled the force. After Sebutinde's commission finished, President Museveni appointed a military general, Katu Amala to lead the reform of the police. General Katumba Amala spearheaded the requipping of the police and building its combat capabilities because many criminals were former soldiers and rebels. He set up Operation Wembley, which neutralized many armed robbers in the city and the highways. He built good public police relations and the public contributed freely to the buying of patrol vehicles for the police. 
In 2005, the second military general to head the police after independence was appointed General Kalekai, who has been in office to date. He is the longest serving Uganda IGP in history. His first assignment in office was to arrest opposition leader Dr. Kiza Vesuje. He has presided over the expansion of police and he has been squashing opposition protests throughout his tenure. His contract was renewed in 2017 for a further three years.